Who said fun workouts and exercise were just for kids? Welcome to ZooFit. And if you're not having fun with your workout, then you are doing it wrong. We make fitness fun, engaging, and impactful. But one thing's missing, and that's you. Yes, you. Let's get a little wild together with Wildlife Wednesday workouts so we can eat clean, live green, and train positive. Uh, well, hello everyone. Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday or Cinco de Mayo or around here at ZooFit, Cinco de Rhino. Yes, today is May 5th, which uh, but in the zoo circles, we do celebrate Cinco de Rhino, the five species of rhino that are living today. We're going to celebrate them. We're going to honor them. We're going to learn what we can, what we need to do to protect them. But today's very fun, very cardio blast workout, the dash for the crash. All right, so why are we doing a dash for the crash? Well, uh, the crash is what we call a group of rhinos. So we have five species of rhinos that are living today, the black rhino and white rhino, both in Africa. And then in Indonesia, we have the greater one horned rhino, the, the Sumatra rhino and the Javan rhino. So again, five species of rhino. We've got five rounds of a cardio blast. We have our dash, we're gonna do 10, shuttle sprints back and forth and then between each of these laps we're going to do one lap we're going to do five rhino charges and we're going to give this again for five rounds so we have three full minutes to do our dash for the cra dash for the crash we're going to rest the remainder of those three minutes and then we're going to repeat again for five full rounds so you guys are ready let's get started all right, guys, we have our rhino charges between each of our shuttle sprints. There's lots of different ways you can do a rhino charge. Now, again, our first level for the rhino charge is going to be in a plank position. And it's kind of like a mountain climber, except we're bringing our leg all the way to the top. And then we're going to bring it back to the center, bring it all the way to the top of our hands and bring it back to that plank. Now, you can stay right here. This is a really good stretch and a kind of a hip flexor very good exercise we're just doing five you can uh, you can also if you want to make this again a full cardio blast you can pick up that pace and do one two three four and five all at once now if those are still just a little too hard for you come on down to your knees full knees and just bring that leg up this will still work so bring your heart rate down just a little bit from those dash from those dashes but it'll still work your glutes a little bit and give you a little bit of that rhino charge. So you guys ready? Again, we've got rhino charges, our dashes. Let's go do our dash for the crash. Want more Wildlife Wednesday? Join the ZooFit Tribe on Patreon, a fan-funded site where you can receive bonus workouts along with other behind-the-scenes glimpses, such as interviews, chapters from my upcoming book, and even connect with other zoo fitters. The link to Patreon is in the description down below. Now let's get started. All right, guys, so we're ready. Three, two, one. We've got three minutes. We're starting with our, ja our dash. And our dash is about, about 25 feet, but whatever, whatever works best for you. I'm gonna start with a nice, easy, starting off with a nice, easy, regular, uh, rhino charge and each of these uh, each of these laps I'm doing five rhino charges and then either my rate my rate of a my rate of a dash it can be a jog it can be a nice nice fast walk if you need it to be it can be a run it can be whatever level is up for you so let's go two, three, four, five. There's a little slightly faster. Why is Chris here? He's helping us keep count, kids. <laughs> easy to lose count <laughs> when you're running back and forth. So one, two. All right, Chris, what's our, our count? We're at lap number seven here. All 
five. Here's number eight. So we got our timer going for three minutes. We have three full minutes to get these 10 dashes in. This is our last two. And I'm gonna do my last one. Woof. At a full pace. One, two, three, four, and five. And we have one whole minute to rest. <laughs> this is good. Again, ideally you want about 30 seconds to one minute of rest. If you're not getting at least 30 seconds rest, bring down the number of reps you're doing. Maybe only do 10 or maybe only do eight, eight full rounds or eight, eight dashes. Uh, maybe increase the time to 3.30. Or again, maybe even decrease the amount of rhino charges that you're doing. Whatever you need to do, you want at least about a minute, about 30 seconds to a minute rest. We've got 20 more seconds left. We're going to do round two. Ready, guys? Round two, same thing. In that full minute, again, bringing our heart rate down so we can get ready to do our next dash for the crash. Three, two, one, dashing first. <laughs> and guys, I am not, not just uh, telling telling you guys that. <laughs> that is definitely a reminder for me. <laughs> so five rhinos in the world. Let's see if I can get some facts in for you guys <laughs> while we're running. All five species of rhinos are considered endangered or threatened, meaning that there's not a lot left and we do need to do our part to protect them. Going for, this is number five. In fact, the Sumatran rhino is the one that most endangered along with the Java rhino. In the Sumatra rhino, there's only 80 individuals left on the planet. And while the Javan, there are only 60. So again, not a whole lot left. So I have our last, last two dashes. So they are definitely need our help to help protect them for future generations to come. Last one, guys. The least we can do, embracing some awareness, celebrating Cinco de Rhino, and woof, get our heart rate down. Oh, we got a little over a minute. <laughs> now, if you are cons consistently getting well over a minute rest, you may want to uh, make your dashes a little bit longer. Maybe do 10 rhino charges, five on each side, or cut down your time. So again, be a quicker workout, but also a bigger, a little bit more of a test. So again, rhinos desperately need our help. One thing that we can do as, a, as, as just again, regular citizens, is help support conservation organizations. And my favorite one to help support every year is American Association of Zookeepers Bowling for Rhinos. Now this year, uh, with the coronavirus, with other, other um, social distancing put in place, a lot of us are doing virtual runs like the Dash for the Crash. So you can do all sorts of fundraisers, support, support rhinos, support bowling for rhinos, support rhino conservation. Ready guys? Round three, and we're running. <laughs> Those three minutes go by fast. <laughs> this is round three. And Chris and I are both kind of keeping up at a faster 
rhino charge pace. But once again, this is designed to be your dash from the crash, your workout. So if you need to do a more relaxed one, you do what feels right for you. There's four, right? <laughs> I'm already lost count, guys. <laughs> This is five. All right, great. We're on, this is number six. So you can go fast. You can do a power walk between and then do a fast rhino charge. You can do a fast jog. Do a nice even flow, hip flexor stretch. Four, five, we have Two more after this, and then one, four, five, and this was number nine. One, two, three, four, five, and last one. One, nice and slow. Four and five. And rest for the rest of one full minute. We've got two more rounds, guys. So have some fun with it. Ten rhino or ten rhino dashes with five rhino charges between each dash. So we got five rounds. We're on round four. We got 30 seconds. You can do this. That's like you. I'll see you at the finish line. Guys, again, uh, we are celebrating Cinco de Rhino today with our death for Zufus Dash for the Crash. There are other dashes for the crashes, a lot of them going on this weekend. Check out your local zoo or look online for at aazk.org for other information about bowling for rhinos, uh, rhino runs, and other ways that you can help save rhinos today, tomorrow, and forever. That's like you. I'll see you guys next time.